If you guys want to get the best free external executor in Azure, you're going to want to go to the first link in the description and scroll down on the page until you see this blue download right there. And of course, you're going to want to download it, right? That's why you're here. But there's two pop-ups, so make sure to close them. So click X out of the pop-up, click again and X out again. But on the third time you guys click on the button, it'll actually continue. And if you do control plus J, it'll actually bring you to your downloads where you guys can see it's trying to download it right here, but it says it's blocked because it's dangerous. And this is a false positive, which is very common for Roblox executors and plenty of other files that didn't get signed because signing something is really expensive. And anyways, this is just a false positive so do not worry about that. And then just click on the three dots and then click on download dangerous file and it'll let you download it and continue. But first off, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your homepage and then go to your little search bar on your computer and search up for Defender. And it should show up with Windows Security as you guys can see right there. So click on it and then it'll bring you home. So you guys click on virus and threat protection. This should be green for most of you guys because it'll be on. And then click on virus and threat protection. Click on manage settings and then right here real-time protection this needs to be off for an to actually download or else the false positive will continue on your computer and it'll just delete it and you guys can't use the executor so make sure to turn it off and if you're not using Windows Defender and you're using a different antivirus simply search up how to turn off insert antivirus name completely and then that should give you a search result on how to turn off your antivirus completely because that's what you need to do anyways now that we're here click on download dangerous file and download dangerous file and as you guys can see it successfully downloaded so now just go to show in folder or wherever you guys selected it to download and it's actually in my downloads folder so I'll just move it to my home page right here and make a new folder called Nazar external D2 and you guys can name this whatever you want but that's just what I named it open it up and then you guys can click on extract here and if you're using WinZip or WinRAR or 7-zip it doesn't really matter just extract it and it should have have this application right here this is Nazir. now before you open it you're gonna want to open Roblox first so let's go to Arsenal right here and you guys unfortunately are not done with the steps there's a few more things you need to do before you're actually in the game and using it but it's pretty simple so I'll show you in just a second so once you load it in double click it'll then give you a little prompt that says do you want to let this publisher edit and of course you have to do yes because that's just uh, in order for it to actually access Roblox and of those files and anyways once you guys have opened it it will open up this little window that has their website and you guys can purchase lifetime Nazir right here uh, you can just buy it so if you guys never want to do their key system again you can purchase it here and you actually get their AI cheat their external v1 and I think if they're coming up with an executor I'm pretty sure that would also be included so check it out but we need to do the key system which is the other tab that it automatically opens so DDoS protection yep we're human okay and we click on next checkpoint Oh, and we have to turn off our ad blog. Let's continue. So, uncover intriguing search trends. Yes, that's what I want. Yes, yes, yes negligence lawyers pretty interesting search trend so guys just click around until it becomes a check mark and then you can click on unlock content which means you can continue to the next checkpoint so now it's link for ties you guys know the drill all right free access with ads and we look at one of the advertisements so you click i'm interested and learn more and now we have to learn more about the uni pizza oven pretty cool uh, how much is this they don't even say the price okay well let's go back to link for ties and continue with the key system and now we're on to the last checkpoint right here. <laughs> Finally! So let's do this. And then once you click on, I already completed the step and it lets you continue. It'll bring you to the actual key. Boom. Where you guys can now copy the key right here. So do control plus C or click on the button. And now we can come back to Arsenal and open up the external again and paste in your license key right here. So paste in your key and click on enter. And then it'll say successfully loaded. And now all we have to do is click insert. And as you guys can see, the little menu shows up. But let's continue and let me show you how to correctly configure it so your account is not in any risk. Okay. So they should have some pre made configs shortly. But Currently, they do not have any pre-built configs because V2 just launched and it's brand new. So their system is a little different nowadays. But let me show you guys how to correctly configure it. Come on. Let me show you guys. 
pretty simply. And this is like an extremely simple config that's not necessarily too good, but you know, we will do it like this, all right? And I'm gonna turn on boxes. And as you guys can see, now the players are a little surrounded. We also want distance so we can know how far away they are and health. Yep, we, we need another health and team check. So it'll only show the ESP for people that are not in our team. And lastly, some FOV because we need to know that. And I'll get a little more deep into the configuration settings, but this is a basic setting you guys can use. And it's really easy to set up. As you guys can see, I just did that in like five seconds. So uh, it's a nice and simple working config, okay? Ow, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Bam, bam okay bam okay all right oh who's shooting let's get this guy this gun is not good i'm bouncing up okay get him yep all right and now this person okay <sighs> i thought i could have a perfect flawless game but no no i had to just die all right but as you guys can see their new v2 version way better i mean v1 was good for the external and it was definitely better than the ai version but v2 of the external is also better than every other version so i definitely recommend you guys at least test it out again if you use their ai version at one point or their v1 external because v2 is much better for sure okay oh no oh no all right, hide behind the wall. This is not a range weapon. We don't have any range with this, please. Just die. We got him on fire. We got him on fire. We secured the kill, yes. Where are we locking? This guy, bam. Oh, oh, oh. All right, there we go. Come on, guys. Everybody just die. Guy's about to expose himself and I die. And personally, I only like using these ESP features, but I can show you guys some more cool features that they added with a new version. So we have things like circle ESP. Yeah, so if you guys take a look, you can see their like floor. So it's a pretty cool uh, customization for your ESP. Uh, it's more applicable for different types of games, but as you guys can see, it also works on Arsenal just fine. And it's just basically just for your own customization and setting up your cheat the way you want it. And there's a few more things that they added but this is just one of the first ones please just die okay and <laughs> we didn't get that knife right away but oh no it's a tie okay we got to speed run this before anybody else gets the knife kill please please die yeah just like that and is there external v2 there we go and now actually let me show you some of the other features so in the aimbot section they also have things like predictor shake which makes it look more legit you also have sticky aim and resolver so this also works very well in the hood if you guys want to do some locking on there it has perfect settings for that and some more advanced customizability over here and in the visuals let me go back to this so let's actually change our colors. Let's go red, Nazir color, right? And we can also turn on beacon. That's a pretty cool feature. I'll show you guys that right now. And for the circle, and we also have tracers, which personally is not my cup of tea, but I know some people like them. I definitely don't like them. I don't understand why anybody likes tracers, but that people do people do so it's an option for you guys that do like it all right no i won't judge but as you guys can see all the esp features are working quite well and along with the aimbot i mean that was just flawless uh as you guys can see like it kind of spazzed out right there and that's because my fov is a bit large so it can lock onto other unintended things so an easy solution to that is just making your fov smaller but anyway i'm gonna keep it big like this because it doesn't really bother me and it's way easier to play it with the silent aim like this so why not okay okay come on come on come on no wrong person wrong person i get that guy as well bam and this blocks noob no and yeah remember guys that this executor is like supported on every single game that you guys want it's universal it's not like only for arsenal or only for the hood it's literally any game you guys want load into it and it'll work so really nice really good all right, but let's let's actually get this win and then we can prove that it works. But if I can't get this win, I'm going to be honest, guys. Is it worth using? But no, we're going to lock in. We're going to get this win and these kills and they're going to stand no chance. And I just died. Come on. All right, but it's okay because we are still first place. So I can't complain that much. All right. 
uh, kill him and oh behind me yeah but it's just a fun feature to use and unlike other windows executors out there right now and that are extremely detected this externals are not really detected right now nor are ai uh, cheats so you guys can use both nizer ai and external and be a hundred percent undetected now some of the working windows executors are kind of undetected but they're extremely dangerous in terms of getting banned compared to something like ai or an external i also so went ahead and joined the hood aim trainer so i can show you guys the esps in a little bit of a different fashion here and let's just turn on literally everything i think this is gonna, gonna lag a lot but i just want to see how it looks if i just turn on every single feature which definitely is not recommended but just to see how it looks oh my gosh did i just crash it i think i just did i just turned on every feature and i broke it look at you you don't even know how to use nazir that's why you're dead all right you you're not him but if you guys want to be him check it out first link in the description at least try it it's free but thank you for sticking along till the end make sure to check out this video right there where i used another executor and it blocks fruit rain in vr so check it out and hopefully i'll catch you in that video right there right there actually all right bye bye